What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I'm going to review the beast that is the Lewd Miller D. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much appreciated. Let's go for 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely epic. Uh, be sure to let me know in that comment section as well what you think about this weapons review. Okay, so the Lewd Miller D is a push rifle I've been talking about in videos since the Taken King. It's a weapon capable of two tapping opponents within PvP. Now we all know how the push rifles differ to the standard push rifle within Destiny. Instead of three bullets per burst, they fire four bullets per burst. Now that does not mean it does more damage per burst. The damage would be of equal to that if it shot three bullets. It's just equaled out between four bullets. What this kind of does though is give off the misconception that the weapon shoots faster than its archetype of pulse rifles, that being a slower rate of fire pulses. But actually, this pulse rifle did indeed receive a buff within the weapon tuning patch 2.4.0, which dropped alongside the Rise of Iron. They indeed buff this weapon's fire rate. Now the Lurid Miller D is exclusive to the Gunsmith. If you want to get your hands on it, check out the Gunsmith on a Wednesday. Look out for the Lurid Miller D package as a reward he offers. Pick it up and be patient for a great roll which resets every Wednesday. Now I've made a few videos on this weapon already and in each one I've told people once I've got the Lurid Miller D package hold on to it for that perfect roll. But let's check out the rolls available or the perks available on this weapon. Sites we have the SD Thermal, the LB Assault, the LC Ranged, the LD Watchdog, the GA Pulse, the GB Iron and the SC Hollow. The fact though that this weapon only comes with two sites per weapon makes the sites rarer to see. Let's check out its random selection perk 1. It can have crowd control, danger close, head seeker, surrounded, last resort, glass half full and army of one. Personally here, you'd want to opt for one of these three, glass half full, head seeker or crowd control. Within its random perk 2 you can have rodeo, counterbalance, range finder, full auto, zen moment, spray and play, feeding frenzy and unflinching. Here there's only one real choice and that is counterbalance. Within the random perks 3, 4 and 5 we have snapshot, single point sling, high caliber rounds, oiled frame, hand laid stock, reinforced barrel, injection mode, fit stock, hand loaded and speed reload. Here you want to look out for that hand laid stock. So the role you'd want to look out for on this weapon, well it really does need that stability. Which should ward the patient for a counterbalance hand laid stock roll. This weapon cannot have brace frame, which instead of affecting range like hand laid stock, it affects magazine size, which is a pity, but hand laid stock does do the job stability wise. So, with its pair of stability perks, you'd probably want glass half full, crowd control, or head seeker. All are okay in their own right, crowd control probably being the least favoured. Now, as demonstrated on screen now, this weapon is capable of two bursts killing your opponent in PvP, no matter the class the enemy is running, and it even packs quite a punch to guardians in supers, capable of four bursts killing a blade dancer, five bursts killing a titan in them hammers, five bursts killing a stormcrawler, Four bursts in a southwest warlock, and six bursts to a southwest warlock using radiant skin. Hitting the burst needed though when they're charging towards you in their super is a different story altogether. Let's check out this weapon's range fall off as standard. Demonstrate on screen now you'll see the distance needed to hit a full powered shot and the range it starts falling off. To be honest though it isn't as good as you think it would be but it isn't too bad either. Now let's look at the stats I've researched and calculated myself. So as you can see it does 18 damage to the body and 26 damage to the head. Rate of fire of 8 bullets per second, so 480 rounds per minute. It will empty its entire clip in 4.25 seconds. Reload time is 2.12 seconds and reload and ADS time is 2.17 seconds. It's got an aim assist of 30 and an equip speed of 25 and a recoil direction of 70. Now these are all 
base standard on screen now we see more of its base standard stats if you guys want to see them so yes we know this weapon is deadly but is it deadly enough to counter the shitstorm of clever dragons we are seeing rule pvp at the moment the simple answer is no it ain't although it kills just as fast going head to head with a clever dragon with high caliber rounds results in you shooting at the sky while they shoot you in the face the simple fact that the clever dragon is able to have counterbalance hand laid stock or bridge frame paired with high caliber rounds makes it at the moment in time the best pvp push rifle in the game untouchable in my opinion but and this is a big but besides the clever dragon and one or two grasper maleks this weapon really does stand strong it's the accuracy needed which defines whether or not this weapon will be a good choice for you. If you miss a burst while in the gunfight, there's a good chance you won't have the chance to fire another. All in all, the Lewin Miller is a solid choice for PvP. Definitely one to pick up for future as I guarantee you there will be a patch that comes and nerfs weapons such as a Clever Dragon. And it's them instances where a weapon such as this finds its glory. Now there are other two best kill pulses in the game, but they are much harder to land a perfect roll on, as with this you have a constant weekly choice once you have the package from the gunsmith. Now you have the Vanguard's Parthian shot, a weapon I have had many times but never landed a great roll, and there's also the spare change which I believe drops now in classic PvP, a weapon again which needs a perfect stability roll to contend. But yes guys, look out for this weapon with the gunsmith, pick it up and be patient for a perfecto rollio. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video, do drop a like for more weapon reviews, if you have this weapon let me know what you think about it down below in that comment section. Again, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.